What's good, everyone? Welcome to this episode of Bianca V's Breakdown. We are going to be talking about the latest season of Temptation Island with one of the cast members who happens to be from Sacramento. So let's go ahead and get into it. You might not know this, but I love reality TV and I'm so excited about having Sacramento's very own Jose Rodriguez in the house. Tell us about Temptation Island. How did that go? Um, so basically I was given an opportunity to um, do a dating show. Um, my dating life sucks. So, <laughs> you know, I thought I'd give it an opportunity. And what it is is four couples come to an island, uh, Maui, to test their relationship. And they're kind of at a crossroads. They don't know if they want to be with their guy. They don't know if they want to be with their girl. So they bring 24 singles, 12 guys, 12 girls, to basically tempt the opposite sex and live in a house with those four guys. The four guys live with 12 single girls, the four girls live with 12 single guys. And I was one of those single guys. So. Oh my goodness. I'm yeah. not a relationship expert, uh -huh. but dating new people when your relationship is starting to get rocky doesn't sound like the best idea. Yeah. <laughs> so they, at first they struggled. Well, they did season one, they revamped it. Uh, they used to have it on Fox. Now it's on USA Network, partnered with NBC Universal. They, they stopped for a little bit, they revamped it. Season one did well. They picked up an extra episode for season two and a reunion show and a cast special. So basically, whatever it is, it's working. People like it. They like seeing people, basically couples almost cheat is what it is. Because, but that's not how I went into it. I went to it as th these girls are single, so I'm going to talk to them as if they were single. You know I, what mean, I mean, were they really single though? No, so I would say um, they, they were all actually dating at one point in, in their life. Some more than others. Some right. have been off and on. Three of them were in a relationship. I feel like one maybe kind of got back together recently and joined the show for other purposes. But for the most part, real relationships, they were in love. They don't know if they're in love or if that's the future, if they want to get married or what it is. So it's just like they come and say, you know, this is a great opportunity to meet other people and to be on television, I guess. So it's like win-win for them. Well, I saw a little sneak preview of the first episode, and I just heard one of the girls, she was like, Jose's trouble. Like, it's not easy having him around or something like yeah. that. So were you always kind of trying to get the girls to like get in a new relationship, or how did you handle it? So the way I see it is if you came to this island, you're single. Mm. You're coming in, you're dating. Okay. There's 12 single, you know, there's, you've seen season one. There's gonna be 12 guys you live in that house with them, you're not gonna see your boyfriend for the rest of the season. And that goes for a span of up to a month, month and a half. So it's like, you know what you got yourself into. You have to pick dates, you have to go on dates. You know we have events every night, there's gonna be flirting, temptation, and that's where we came in. And uh, yeah, um, I hit it off the first night with one girl. And um, yeah, she just said I was in trouble just because when I like something or I know what I want, you know, I try to go get it. And, uh, <laughs> and I was being very flirty as soon as I got, ooh. We were cooped up in a hotel for a week before we got into the house, so it's like, we got to the house, we're ready to party, have a good time. There are four girls, they're looking for something different, and I'm trying to show them that. Yeah, but how long was the entire um, season while you were filming? So if you make it to the end, it's, it's a little over a month. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is that how long you were on the island? I can't tell you. Oh my goodness, <laughs> so much mystery. I mean, I do, I do well. I, I will be on uh, most of the season, so I nice. do well. That's exciting. Man, uh -huh. he might have just like sweeped up someone's girl. You never know. He might have pulled the steel. Thursday nights, you were saying that word. <laughs> okay, so another thing that I have to ask, I've always wondered this. How do you make out with someone when there's <laughs> three cameras in your face? How does that work? So, we, we're all mic'd up. When we wake up, they ask us to mic up. And if we don't, we'll find you. We'll do this, we'll do that. They want to hear everything. They want to see everything. Right. So, um, we get mic'd up for the day. Um, say we're talking, me and you last night, we're hitting it off and this and that, or we made out last night, or and we want to talk about that. We'll duck off to a corner, start talking. They hear what we're talking about, and the people in the back room are telling the camera crews to run at you. So three cameras come and just, yeah, are in your face. Or say it's nighttime and we're hitting it off, we start making out, or we start this, I bring you, you bring me to your room, the cam camera it's follows. Scandalous. Camera <laughs> follows. They see everything. We have. We have cameras out the, in the walls, like they see everything, they hear everything. So it, it, at first it was awkward because 
you're, I'm sitting there having a real conversation with you, talking about my family, your family life, right. um, what you expect in the girl, you want kids. It's such a good conversation to where they'll run three, four cameras over and just stare at you guys. And you guys have to act normal and just start, keep talking. Like, you just keep talking. <laughs> and then sometimes um, we'll have like executive producers around and be like, hey, that was good, but can you elaborate more? Mm, so you know there's I mean? always people listening to what you're saying. Oh, they, they, when we were going crazy in the house, they knew who the crazy ones were. They knew who was talking to themselves. They were they, like, Jose is staring at the wall right now. <laughs> Jose, Jose is a little crazy, for sure. But the island makes you a little crazy because you're da trying to date four girls who are in a relationship and it's tough. It's not easy because they're not as vulnerable as a girl who is single. Right. So, and when we're coming- They have those walls up. Yeah, they have their walls and we're over here trying to give these girls everything because we're single and we're out here trying to date. My other question is, is it, do you think some of the relationships that get formed are real? Mm -hmm. Do you think that, are people really falling in love on these shows? <clears throat> so- that's, I've always wanted to know so that. So that's, that's a huge question that people love asking is, is this real? Yeah. Is it re real reality? And um, it is. It, it is. We we really <laughs> go. A lot of people do go on reality TV to be a TV star yeah. to, for an opportunity or whatever. And everybody who comes to that island or that came, obviously, it is an opportunity to be on TV. Don't get me wrong. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to be, do something, and this can launch their clothing brand. They're this. They're that. You know, they're promoting their right. stuff. But people were really there to find, figure out if they wanted to be with their boyfriend or if they had something better out there oh my and goodness. I will tell you people do damn near fall in love almost on this season like people connections are strong um, to where there's fights there's a little bit of everything um, people re real emotions and I mean yeah it's it's real it's real other than every now and then production would be like yo can you do that again and talk about it more into depth mm. about last night or this or that they have storylines eventually because they see things play out and they'll come at you and be like you know what we kind of want this this or that but at the end of the day we're being us though what's easier dating on reality tv or dating here in sacramento <laughs> uh reality tv because these girls are forced to get to know you uh, okay and <laughs> like you're have, to be like i'm good you Thanks, got 12 I'm options good. these four <laughs> four girls got 12 options sacramento these girls have multiple <laughs> options um la is harder than sacramento sacramento mm, I imagine, yeah when i wasn't when i grew up out here played basketball at Sacramento City College like I, I had a high school sweetheart I had a college sweetheart like it was kind of easier to find love maybe out here slower um, that's what I was saying like what's next you gonna settle down here in SAC <laughs> um, for now I'm still in LA um, definitely uh, my family's opening a new restaurant within the ne next month and I'm gonna come back and forth to help out with that but other than that in LA and just bounce back and forth like I normally do I don't know, he sounds single to me, but we're gonna have to tune in and figure that part out. Yeah, you gotta tune in, like I said. USA Network, Thursdays, the premiere is October 10th, so um, yeah, get your popcorn ready. Yes, I'll definitely be watching it myself, and do you wanna let everyone know where they could find you, you know, social media, all mm -hmm. that good stuff? Yeah, um, so my Instagram is at J-R-O-D underscore 2023. And um, don't really use anything else. Oh, sweet. So <laughs> Twitter's, <laughs> Twitter's the same. Facebook's my name, Jose Ramos Rodriguez. So, yeah, come follow me. Uh, definitely going to keep promoting the show. And it's it's going to get good. It's going to be a good season. Um, some of the, like, reality experts are saying this season's already better than the last one. Because oh, nice. they've dipped into two, three episodes already. And the drama kicks in. Episode one is good. Drama kicks in episode two. It's going to be a good Ooh, season. Okay, so I'm definitely going yeah. to stick around and watch. Yes. Ladies, yeah, definitely keep watching. Follow him on Instagram. Then you'll see what he's up to. And he'll give you a go if you can slide into those DMs or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> all right. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Bianca V's Breakdown. You can follow us on all social platforms at 1025KSFM and at KSFM.com. We'll see you next time.